Hi, my name's Viv. I live in Bristol in the United Kingdom and we need to talk about openness. So we live in this amazing time. We have the internet and it's like this vast parallel universe and, and this endless opportunity for gaining knowledge and to make connections and to have new experiences and cultural experiences. But we've got a massive problem, haven't we? We've got a massive problem in that we're starting to see quite notable, measurable, negative impacts on areas of society. So let me give you some examples. People write about student data being the new oil. Um, learners in massive online open courses drop out in their, in their millions. The majority drop out and no one's questioning that experience. Um, and not just in education and learning, in social networking spaces we're starting to see quite inappropriate behaviours and interactions and and this is becoming almost the norm and acceptable practice and to the point where some of this behaviour is really quite abusive and, and totally unacceptable for society. So my idea is a very timely one and I think we need to be doing this now is we need to create some common ethical ground. So we need to create an ethical commons and so what this would be potentially is a series of really clear visual clues to users of the web that will say, okay, if you come onto my site, we've had an ethical conversation and this is what you will expect to experience and this is what you would expect your, to end up, you know, for your data to be treated appropriately. Um, and so as an educator also, um, if I'm producing materials and resources, I can put this ethical stamp on, on my resource to say, yes, we've considered the ethics of, of what we're doing um, so we can have a series of really simple visual clues but to get there um, first of all there's quite a foundation of research we have an idea of what these ethical dimensions are and what these ethical issues are so to create the commons and should actually be successful with the fellowship what we could do is to appoint a champion in each of these areas and I've spoken to a lot of people who are hugely interested in this project and these champions could seed forward some conversations and out of those conversations we could distill um, down into a set of tools and visual clues um, what this common ethical ground could be across the whole range of, of, of issues that we're seeing on, on the internet. So we'll, we'll draw these up into sort of visual symbols that are really digestible and easy to, to recognise by people to use. Um, or as people who are browsing and going on the web. So I think we've reached this essential point in time. We need to consider the, the ethical boundaries of what we're doing. So the technology has kind of outpaced our critical thinking and, and our barriers and what's becoming acceptable um, and what is blatantly unacceptable. So the ethical commons, I think, is vital for openness because it will put openness back on track and then we can start to reap the benefits of, of all the different paradigms of open that, that really we, we truly need and will be a massive impact in society. So that's my idea, some common ethical grounds.